showing you how to make a gluten-free, dairy-free banana crumpet. These are all of the ingredients and stuff you need to use to make this wonderful recipe. First, you need sunflower oil, spraying cook, cake flour, a medium-sized pan, a normal breakfast bowl, a tablespoon, a dinner fork, a green scrapey thingy, a spatula, a banana, one egg, and a cup. Okay, this is our second step. So you need to spray and cook the bottom of your pan so that your banana crumpet does not stick, otherwise it may break up. There we are, that should do it. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to put in some oil, sunflower oil, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. It's always a very good idea to crack your egg into a cup and see whether it's the right texture, whether it's rotten or good to use. Now you need to peel your banana. I like to use medium ones, not too old, not too green, just right. Put it into a bowl. Well first break it up into pieces. Then I want you all to mush it down with the fork to get it squeezed in between the pokey part of the fork. It needs to be quite a mushy texture. This is what your banana should look like when it's been squished. Now I am going to add my egg into it. Now I need to get out my flour. This just makes it group together. Yeah. So I'm going to use one tablespoon of heat. There we are, that should do it. Now I'm just going to use my fork and mix it up. I need to mix it up to make it hard. Well not hard, just medium. Just switch the stove on so it can be preheated. Stick it on to number four. Okay. I've just done this recipe just to help the people that have no clue what to do if they can't have gluten anymore. I mean, I can have gluten, but it's just helping out the community and stuff so that they don't struggle as much. They can have something new to make out of gluten-free. And this is basically what it should look like. This is what it should eventually look like at the very end of your process. This is the end of the mixing. Now I'm just going to wait about a minute for this pan to heat up and the oil and then I shall stick it in. I'm going to use the scraper to pour all of this in. Got to do it at a reasonable pace just so that it can group all together. And I, I'm not doing it as any of you might expect. Yep, and then I just sometimes like to get it together because I like mine 
thick. And um, yeah, wait about, I don't know, however long it may take, and then it's done. Catch you then. Banana crumpet starts to bubble and foam all around the edges. It means that it is nearly getting ready to be flipped. I'm just going to check whether it's ready. I think it's kind of looking really good. Oh my, let me redo this. Nope, it's not ready yet. It is partially brown. Not very brown, just partial. It needs to be quite a crispy texture before it can be flipped. Two, one. Okay, I'm about to flip this. Oh my, not the greatest flip. But there we have it. Yeah, so I'm just going to wait the same amount of time as I did on the other side, and then it should be ready. Okay, I think it's getting really close to the end. Oh, can you see that? I'm thinking it's like I actually think that I can smell a burning smell. Yep, take it off, and there we are. That is my recipe complete. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you have enjoyed and learned something new for those who are using gluten-free products. Last but not least, about to add my top. There we are. That's how I like it. Also, I love my smooth chocolate sauce. I know it's not dairy-free, but I can have dairy. You guys might need some dairy-free chocolate sauce.